Hello everyone, my name is Abby Fliss White and welcome to my channel. Today I am so excited to be back filming and I'm going to kick it off with my December 2022 favorites. And it has already been a crazy start to 2023, but I am so excited for the year ahead. So I thought what I would do today is share some of my favorites from the month of 2022. We did a bit of traveling to Charleston, so I'll give you a little recap on that amazing city, as well as I'm a little clothes heavy this month. Um, lots of different Christmas presents and just some things that I thought I would share with you because I've fallen in love with a few different brands. So if you're interested in seeing my favorites from the month of December, I've got some beauty, I've got some fashion, I've got a little bit of perfume in here, a little mix of everything, then let's go ahead and get started. Oh my goodness, it feels like forever since I have been filming. I'm going to admit up front that I'm feeling a bit behind. We had an amazing holiday season complete with a bit of travel to Charleston, South Carolina. But the previous lead up to the holidays, my husband got terribly sick, so did my daughter. I had to get a root canal and it was just kind of a crazy time. And then when we returned, I ended up getting sick. So needless to say, I am so happy to be back filming and I have missed you all so much. So I hope everybody had a great holiday season and that the start to 2023 has been good. So I thought what I would do is just jump right in. I've got some favorites here and we're going to start with some hair products and I like to mix up my shampoo from time to time because my hair sort of gets used to things and I feel like it needs a change up and during the holiday season there were so many sales going on that I ended up picking up a package deal with the Kerastase and this is the Blonde Absolute. This is the Bain Lumiere. This is the shampoo. I also got the Sika Flash. Um, this is this also Blonde Absolute. So shampoo and conditioner that I have just been loving. And I'm somebody who likes to do a hair mask about twice a week because I color my hair. And I picked up this one here. This is the Mask Sika Extreme. So good, you guys. I love the mask. And then a couple of the treatment products are the um, hair oil. This again is from the Blonde Absolute line. Love this because I have fine hair and um, sometimes oils can just kind of weigh them down. But this is absolutely fantastic because it does not weigh my hair down. It gives it a little bit of protection from the heat. And then I also picked up this serum. This is a night serum and I just love this. So this was a surprise hit. It is Serum Sika Nui, and again from the Blonde Absolute line, but it is so nice to put on at night. It just sort of moisturizes your hair, and I've just really been enjoying these products. I have used Kerastase in the past, and I tend to mix it up between Olaplex, Aura Bay, and I was sort of glad to pick up these products because I've really been enjoying them. So if you are somebody who also highlights their hair or has blonde hair, I've really been loving this entire line and I like it because it's not necessarily like purple shampoo. They did have some of that, but it's just going to kind of hydrate your hair and I just feel like my hair is feeling a bit more moisturized. So I wanted to share those Kerastase products with you. 
definitely a nice little change up for my hair. And then the next product I wanted to mention, and this has been raved about all over TikTok and YouTube, and I am just not someone who generally uses primers before their foundation, but I did end up picking up the Milk. This is the Hydra Grip primer. Um, basically my daughter wanted to get it and she was like, you need to get it as well. And I also have heard Andrea Ali, she raves about this as well. But since I'm not someone who always uses a primer, or maybe that's going to be my 2023 thing is to add that in because I have been loving this product. So it comes out like this and um, it feels a little bit like dimethicone at first. I do not believe it contains any of that in there, but, but it's got this very hydrating base. And if you can see, it gives your skin a nice little glow. And then your foundation truly does grip on to the primer and it just makes your skin look so good. So this truly does keep your skin super hydrated and I have just been loving this, especially when you travel. I feel like when you're traveling on an airplane, it's just like your skin, all the hydration gets sucked out. And so adding in this primer is an extra layer of hydration, but it truly does make your makeup just look a little bit more radiant, a little bit more hydrated, and I just can't believe how much I love it. Now, and this is an Allure award-winning primer. It's been around for a few years. It literally gets the buzz all the time, but it does have some skincare benefits in it, such as blue agave extrate. That is the ingredient that is supposed to kind of form this invisible layer and lock in your makeup. So it does have just a slightly tacky feeling when you first put it on, but right now my skin is like super soft. So just after it gets through that little tacky stage, it really does just sort of dry down to this really hydrating, nice feel on the skin, almost a little bit silky. It includes hyaluronic acid as well as hemp-derived cannabis seed extract. That's supposed to boost hydration in the skin. You definitely achieve that. And then it has niacinamide and aloe water that are both going to add sort of a nice fresh dewy look on the skin. I really love this and I really like this using the primer and on the days that I'm just going to be using concealer kind of to spot correct. Um, this combination is amazing. So I wanted to mention this Milk Hydra Grip primer. I'm a believer now, you guys, and I'm not usually somebody who uses primer. So fell in love with this in the month of December. My daughter Zoe definitely gave me a little nudge with this. We had a ton of fun while she was home over winter break, kind of playing with hair stuff and makeup and all that good stuff. So, so a little extra highlight from the month of December was getting to hang out with my daughter as well as see my son in Charleston. I'm going to stick with makeup for a minute and I'm going to give a shout out. I have completely fallen in love with the Chanel. This is the Sublimage Le Corrector. Yeah. Again, if you've been watching my channel, you know I am not somebody who loves concealer. And I have to say, this one has totally changed my mind. I am so in love with this concealer. Again, this is something that you can kind of use definitely underneath your eyes. It is very forgiving for mature skin and underneath the eyes. I'm so in love with it that I think I might be buying one other shade. Many of you had told me that you went ahead and bought BR32 in the concealer, and that is the shade of foundation that I wear in Chanel. And I ended up picking this up in B20 just because I thought I should go down a shade, but everybody told me the BR32 is automatically 
lighter. So I think I might go ahead and buy that shade as well because I love this concealer so much. It is very hydrating. It does have very nice coverage. It is a little bit radiant as well and a little goes a long way. So although this is expensive, I feel like you will have this for a long time and it does look very nice all over the face too. So I generally will put the concealer right here in my dark hollows as well as over here to sort of highlight on my eyes to get rid of any discoloration on my lids. But I will admit that I like to use the B20 to sort of highlight, um, you know, kind of up on my forehead, down my nose. It just looks beautiful on the skin as well. And this does have skincare benefits. It is basically the Sublimage Eye Cream, which is amazing if you've never tried that from Chanel definitely one of my favorites um but it's tinted and it's just really gorgeous it comes with its own little brush that is actually quite nice and again a little bit's going to go a long way so I definitely recommend this for my mature friends who may not like concealer either but it's kind of a necessary evil <laughs> Huh. definitely want to brighten up underneath the eyes. I highly recommend this. Definitely worth checking out. And I think I'll go ahead and splurge and get that other color. So you can look forward to um, a little comparison between these two colors, the B20 and the BR32. So since I was traveling in the month of December, my go-to eye look was two of my favorites from Chanel. That is a single eyeshadow. And this is the shade Talpa. And it is just gorgeous. It is like my perfect single shadow color. I just love that so much. I just love this sort of cool toned pewter color. It literally is the most beautiful shadow on the eye. And this is what I pretty much wore like nonstop during the month of December, along with my um, favorite. This is the Stilo U Waterproof. This is in marine. So my favorite kind of navy blue. And this is the combination that I'm wearing on my eye today. Just a really easy look. So quick and easy makeup, but you're going to feel put together. And it is this beautiful Tulpa Chanel single shadow along with the marine eyeliner. I just find this to be a sort of eye brightening combo. It's super easy to travel with. And this was just my favorite from the past month. Now, if I wanted to glam it up a bit more, my sort of holiday eye look was using the Lisa Eldridge. This is the Vega Eye Palette. I'm wondering if you can see. I literally have been getting a lot of wear out of this eye palette. I just love it. The formulas are really exquisite, just like you would expect from Lisa Eldridge. But this is just like my perfect eye palette here. This is a beautiful, cool toned eye palette. I absolutely love this sort of smoky gray, almost slate blue color. Here you've got this dark, almost black smoke color. You can really glam up your eye look here and you can create an everyday eye look as well. But just so pretty. The topper in here is so gorgeous. Is that so pretty? Um, just absolutely love the eye palette from Lisa Eldridge. That was my other go-to that I traveled with. As far as lip products, I was beyond excited to see Dior launch more lip maximizers. So I did pick up three of the new shades. And as many of you know, this truly is my ultimate lip product. I have so many of the old versions. I use these every single day. 
And they did rework the formula just a bit with some more natural inspired ingredients. They changed up the packaging just a bit. I think it is very classy and pretty. And then they included some new intense and bold shades. And I just have been so in love with my new shades. I do admit I wanna pick up a few more, but my favorites are this one. This is lavender, holographic lavender right here. It is so pretty. I like to wear it on its own, but it also looks gorgeous as a topper. I also picked it up in Intense Fig. This one is exclusive to the Dior website, and I just think it is such a gorgeous color. And then I picked up the Intense mauve which is very much a me color here i just love it so much and these are the lip products that i traveled with um, i just love the new shades love the new packaging and just so excited about these now if there are any shades or colors that you want me to pick up let me know i could be easily persuaded to pick up a few more of these because these are just my ultimate favorite lip products. Now another lip product that I picked up in the month of December. These are not new but they are oldies but goodies. My daughter wanted to pick up one of these YSL. These are their Volupte Lip Shine Balms. Love these. I have loved these in the past but she ended up picking up number 88 which is this beautiful rose color i have to say i think i like her color better i picked it up in number 86 the mauve shade and it is absolutely gorgeous these are so glossy they feel so comfortable on the lips and her excitement over these lip products made me kind of want to revisit them as well and let me go ahead and give you a swatch of this color because it is just so pretty. Great everyday color. And this is the shade number 86. So I'm still clearly into glossy lips but the case is so gorgeous these are so hydrating and this was another one that I traveled with and just had a lot of fun with and so 88 was the shade my daughter got sort of a really bright kind of berry rose color and then 86 is a great everyday sort of mauve color so love these and wanted to give a little shout out as well okay moving on I do have two perfect fumes that I want to share with you. I will be getting back to my Fragrance Friday videos, but the two fragrances that I traveled with and have been obsessed with the past month. The first one is from Velhem Perfumery. This is Room Service, and my daughter and I both fell in love with this beautiful floral fragrance. Oftentimes we will travel with just one perfume that we both like and due to the age difference we don't always love the same perfumes but we definitely both love this one. This is a gorgeous amber floral with a touch of fruit in here. There's a little bit of mandarin like a citrus hit as well as some blackberry Mm. I'm just obsessed with this one. It's always going to sort of remind me a bit of Charleston as well because my daughter and I were both wearing this fragrance and it just smells great on both of us. The florals, the florals in here are orchid and violet and I find that violet perfumes add a little bit of powderiness to them so it has almost like a bit of a clean powderiness to it that I think my daughter really enjoys. She really likes those um, sort of clean fresh fragrances and this does have a bit of a lift to it that has that in here. Um, it also has the note of bamboo that can be just a teeny bit sharp when you first spray this out um, but that dissipates and then the underbelly or the base of this fragrance is going to be musk black 
amber and creamy sandalwood. So if you are somebody who loves warmer floral fragrances, um, that you also like a bit of a fragrance that has a cleanness or like a freshness, like fresh out of the shower note to it, I think you might love this room service. This little beauty made it on the trip to Charleston. Really love this and I'm actually going to Atlanta later this week and I'm thinking I might take this one as well. It's really a nice transitional, like a great winter floral fragrance due to that warmer base. So really been loving this guy right here. Then my other obsession is this gorgeous fragrance from The Mean London. And this is Patiala. Oh gosh, you guys, this is a true obsession. So this is going to be in the category of a wowser fragrance. If you've heard me talk about Widian Liwa, um, that one was one of those fragrances that was like, wow. Um, I'm going to put this one in that category as well. This one reminds me of a few different fragrances, like they all got together and had a baby and this came out and it is just a stunner. So I have been wearing this one nonstop during the month of December as well. And if you're a fan of sparkly aldehyde fragrances, I think you're going to love the opening of this. It opens with a bright citrusy aldehyde opening. So it has this sparkling champagne touch. So it feels very special upon spritzing it on. And then it has this delicious layer of florals. It's got orange flower as well as wild roses. This is a beautiful jammy rose. It does remind me a teeny bit of like Delina. Um, if you like Delina, I feel like you might like this one combined with like Baccarat Rouge and Gris Dior. Like That's that. what I'm getting from here. It has that kind of special cloud bubble that you get from Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, Delina, if any of you love Delina, you're going to love, you'll feel like the roses in here are a little bit similar to that. Um, just that special delicious rose. Then it reminds me a little bit of Greedy Ore, which again is another rose-based scent. And again, this is another one of these fragrances that has that sort of rich, opulent, amber base in it. It has some sweetness to it. I just, everything about it, I absolutely love. And it just feels like a very special perfume to me. And of course, I just love the cobalt blue bottles. I am increasingly falling in love more and more with this line. I feel like it is a very special line. I did get to go smell them while I was in London and I just am in love with this particular fragrance and think that many of you would like it as well. And I do happen to have a code, um, Abby10 at Twisted Lily for this one. And I actually have one for room service as well. Whenever I have any discount codes, I will always leave them down in below in the description box. But these were my two most worn fragrances during the month of December. Okay, one of the coolest things I did in the month of December is I went and had my colors done. I went to the House of Colors. My color specialist, her name was Sarah Roderick, and I have to tell you, she is amazing. I had the best time getting my colors done, and I actually feel like I made a new friend as well. We've been texting back and forth since my analysis, and I'm hoping I might be able to convince her to come onto YouTube, um, but I will be doing a whole video on my experience, but I have to say many of you nudged me to go get my colors done. I've, I've always been a little unsure of myself. I sort of thought I had cool undertones. I did have my colors done way back in the day. My, my mom had one of those color me beautiful parties, but I was a teenager. I don't think I was super interested in it. She had a party at our house and my sisters and I were included and got our colors done. But many of you had told me that you got your colors done sort of gave me a little nudge. Thank you Deb and thank you Randy. You 
both were the ones who sort of nudged me that it would be a great experience, and it certainly was. So the long and short of it is that I actually am a summer. That's what we came up with. I definitely have cool undertones. It was truly amazing to kind of see the drapes as they drape all these colors on you. You start to really see what looks good or bad um, with your skin tone. Your hair is tinted, so it really is all about your skin tones. Here, it doesn't have to do with your hair color, and it is just a way for you to find out those colors that you look and feel amazing in. And many of those colors I was already gravitating towards, but in my summer palette here, I'm gonna quickly show you some. My colors are a bit more soft and muted. Blues are my jam, like I was loving on all of those sort of French navy blues. Definitely like several blues were like in my wow colors. Um, a bit smoky and roses and pink. So as many of you know, I have been obsessed with pink for quite some time. So I'm lucked out and I'm just going to quickly flip through my colors with you. Again, I'm going to be doing a whole video here, like right here. This is like right in my like right here, these are all my favorites. These were my wow colors. Soft white versus bright white. So everything a bit more muted. Lots of blue. And then this was a funny color right here, this chiffon. I want to find something to add to my wardrobe because this is the yellow that actually looks good on me. And I really ended up liking that color. And then we've got some beautiful lavenders as well. And then this color right here, the sea green, was one of my wow colors. So I want to find something in that gorgeous color zone. And you can see lots of blue. We're starting to get into some pinks. This smoked grape is gorgeous. Plums, amethyst, so lots of roses. Here's raspberry. This was another one of my wow colors. We've got burgundy and this coral red is sort of my red here. I believe that's cherry as well. So these are sort of my red tones that look good on me. And then these pretty rose pinks. Again, this pastel rose here. This was one of my wow colors. So this was so much fun to sort of confirm what I already knew. But going forward, I could make some smarter sort of investment choices with clothing and such. Again, you can wear any color you love. You don't have to take it too seriously, but I really did enjoy this experience and it's helped me weed out my closet. It's been really fun to kind of weed through things that I had the tag still on. Guess what? They weren't in my color zone. I wasn't attracted to wearing them. So I've done a bunch of weeding out and then going forward in 2023, my motto needs to be less is more, but I'd love to kind of invest in a few things that are in my wow colors that make me feel like a million bucks um, using my little swatches. So I am officially a summer, soft, muted colors, grays, blues, pinks, roses. Those are all in my color zone and I'm so excited to do my full video sharing my experience but this was definitely one of my highlights and if you live in the Portland area I would definitely recommend Sarah Roderick. Love her. She is just a pure doll. She's also very chic. She has great style. I got to go into her closet and I was a little bit jealous. I was like, oh my gosh, it is just perfectly curated. And I just love the whole experience. So inspiration going forward in 2023 and a full video will be coming up this week with a little bit more details if you are somebody who is similar in skin tone to me or you already know that you're a summer we can have a little bit of fun together playing with that.